Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 songs made famous by movies. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces fast, and I'm homebound. For this list, we'll be looking at songs that were either made famous or given further recognition through appearing in a film. While the tracks themselves might have already found fame in their own right, their inclusion in these movies only added to their iconic status. Did we forget another great song used in a movie? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. Down in Mexico, The Coasters, Death Proof One half of the Grindhouse double feature, Death Proof turned slasher films on their head, courtesy of Quentin Tarantino. During the extended bar sequence, Kurt Russell's character stuntman Mike gets a lap dance from one of the female patrons. She selects the coaster's song, Down in Mexico, which some viewers may have never heard before. He wears a red bandana, plays a groove in a honky down in Mexico. It was a top 10 hit on the R&B charts back in the day, but modern audiences haven't heard the track repurposed in such a significant way. The groovy number adds to a memorably choreographed sequence before the movie becomes a bloody horror throwback. Although the project might be a lesser entry in his filmography, Death Proof uses its unique soundtrack to full effect. In a honky -tonk, down in Mexico. Number 19. Caravan Juan Tisol and Duke Ellington Whiplash the jazz song Caravan features prominently in the drama Whiplash. As one of the final arrangements that the drummer Andrew must master, the classic track serves as one of the ultimate achievements for the misguided hero. It also functions as the soundtrack of the climactic scene featuring the main character's iconic drum performance. Repurposing this standard by Juan T. Sol and Duke Ellington, writer and director Damien Chazelle includes this number as a tribute to the jazz legends and those that chase their greatness. Bookending the piece with two chaotic drum solos, the film's last use of Caravan also questions the length that people go to for their music. Number 18. Afternoon Delight, Starland Vocal Band, Anchorman The Legend of Ron Burgundy Leave it to Will Ferrell to turn this already hilarious scene on its head with a little musical accompaniment. In his attempts to explain the concept of love to his colleagues, news anchor Ron Burgundy sings the Starland Vocal Band's number one hit single, Afternoon Delight. Gonna find my baby, gonna hold her tight, gonna grab some afternoon delight. The sudden use of the song comes out of nowhere in the best possible way as Farrell leads his castmates in a musical interlude. Everybody joins in on an acapella performance that's both surprisingly perfect for the scene and super funny. <laughs> Afternoon delight. Given the film's 70s setting, the additional of this musical time capsule offers younger audiences the chance to listen to a romantic single of yesteryear. Skyrockets in flight. Afternoon delight. Number 17. Best of My Love. The Emotions. Boogie Nights. Delving into the boisterous disco era, Boogie Nights features a rousing opening number that starts the story off in style. The emotion's fun and brassy Best of My Love begins the bold movie on the right note as a crane shot introduces audiences to the main characters. Jack, Jackie, Jack, Jackie, Jack, Jackie, Jack. Entering a noisy club, this track continues as most of the cast get their own moment to shine. Before Boogie Nights, the single had its heyday in the 70s as it went to number one on the Hot 100 and won a Grammy. Oh. The enjoyable tune and other period singles give this renowned 90s film a portal back to the decade of big hair and leisure suits. Number 16. Layla, Derek and the Dominoes, Goodfellas Martin Scorsese's mob flick Goodfellas contains numerous scenes set to fantastic songs. One of its most iconic needle drops might be Derek and the Dominoes' Layla, which Eric Clapton's one-off group recorded to acclaim in the 70s. Layla, got me on my knees. For the montage scene where co-conspirators of the film's heist are found dead, the director has the piano coda for the track accentuate the discovery of their corpses. The moody music brings both a soulfulness and an uncertainty to the future of the surviving Mafia members. Showcasing one of the darkest moments of the story, this sequence has a familiar piece of rock history guide people through its twisted path. Number 15. Mad World, Michael Andrews featuring Gary Jules, Donnie Darko. 
Donnie Darko still provides a hypnotic viewing experience to this day, in which Mad World plays a vital role in making it a cult film. In one of the final scenes, the various characters' fates play out as Gary Jewell's voice sings over them. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. The melancholic reworking of the Tears for Fears track is an inspired choice to represent the tragic circumstances of the movie's characters. This version of the song trades the new wave sound for a stripped down piano version that punctuates one of the most emotional sequences in the film. Went to school and I was very nervous. With Michael Andrews' production, the cast reels from the supernatural happenings of the plot and the unexpected death that rocks their world. Number 14, Unchained Melody, The Righteous Brothers, Ghost. This 1990 classic is perhaps best remembered for the scene featuring this track from The Righteous Brothers. Unchained Melody plays beautifully over the famous sequence where Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore make pottery together. Lonely rivers flow to the sea, to the sea. Sharing a romantic moment, the two actors have this iconic song to help establish their relationship in this haunted love story. The single was previously a sole standard from decades past, but Ghost managed to utilize the music in a way to emphasize its moving arrangement. I'll be coming home, wait for me. Now it's forever associated with this moment, and it's hard to imagine the hit being as effective in any other movie. Number 13, Tiny Dancer, Elton John, Almost Famous. Cameron Crowe's Oscar-winning film about a young music journalist features many 70s classics on its eclectic soundtrack. Ballerina, you must have seen her. The song was a slow burn hit for Elton John in its original decade, but it also grew in popularity years later after being included in Almost Famous. For the scene on the tour bus, Crow uses Elton John's Tiny Dancer to bring together the fractious band through the power of music. Jesus freaks out in the street, and then tickets are for God. Each passenger gradually lets their hard feelings go as they each join in to sing John's early single. With Bernie Taupin's legendary lyrics, the sequence takes on another meaning as an effective metaphor for the characters and their complicated emotions. Oh, the Number 12, Stuck in the Middle with You, Steeler's Wheel, Reservoir Dogs. In a scene that put Quentin Tarantino on the map, sadistic robber Mr. Blonde tortures a police officer to the sounds of rock band Steeler's Wheel. Well, I don't know why I came here tonight. I got the feeling of something right. The ironic juxtaposition gives the film's already dark tone an additional jolt of disturbing imagery. Michael Madsen's performance and dance moves personify the horror of the moment with Stuck in the Middle with You on full blast. For his directing debut, Tarantino shows the world his tremendous ability to pick powerful songs for just the right scenes. It also speaks to the movie's lasting impact that this track has become forever associated with this sequence more than its original run on 70s rock radio. Number 11, All Star, Smash Mouth, Shrek. Some people forget that All Star by Smash Mouth was not written for the film Shrek. It was originally included on the soundtrack for the Ben Stiller comedy Mystery Men, but it went on to further attention after being used in the animated movie. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. Among the other iconic songs from the comedy, the rock single manages to be the perfect entry for the satirical fairy tale. Smash Mouth fans might argue that Shrek only reminded people of its catchiness and earned its own fame on pop radio. Hey now, you're an all star. Get your game on. Play. Either way, All Star seems to capture the spirit of the Green Ogre and make for an awesome entrance theme for him. Only shooting stars break the mold. Number 10, Miser Lou, Dick Dale and His Deltones, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction begins with two robbers holding up a Los Angeles diner. Once they announce their intentions to the patrons, Dick Dale's version of Miser Lou wakes up the audience like the crack of a whip. <laughs> Dale's signature guitar plays throughout the credits and situates the audience into the wild ride that is the Tarantino film. While his rendition ranks among the finest surf rock songs of its era, this movie utilizes it as a tribute to the California setting and the filmmaker's fan of vintage music. The fact 
that it also became an iconic anthem for the 90s masterpiece is icing on the cake. Number 9. The End The Doors Apocalypse Now Apocalypse Now brilliantly begins with a view of a jungle catching fire after a napalm strike scored by The Doors song The End. Jim Morrison's voice introduces the surreal Vietnam film in a poetic flourish. No safety, no surprise, the end. Serving as a warning about the character's impending descent into darkness, the tune works hand in hand to set the tone of the Francis Ford Coppola movie. Can you picture what will be? The Doors track was first featured on the band's debut album in 1967 and later took on a more sinister meaning after being used in this war picture. In epic fashion, both the lengthy film and this accompanying musical effort capture the humanity and inhumanity of the narrative. And all the Number 8. Old Time Rock and Roll Bob Seger – Risky Business Tom Cruise rolls out in his underwear in the most iconic scene from Risky Business. Who else but Bob Seger could have supplied the perfect song for this pop culture phenomenon? Just take those old records off, yeah. Cruise nails the giddy and adulterated character of a young adult finding his own freedom in this moment. Dancing along to Seger, the actor has his breakout moment that defined his early career and put him on his way to becoming a movie star. Old Time Rock and Roll achieved another level of popularity after the release of the film. It also inspired many parodies of the scene that only made the single's association with the 80s comedy stronger. Dang it! Mom waxed the floor, I'm going again. Number 7. Lust for Life Iggy Pop Train Spotting. Train Spotting begins with a bang thanks to the driving beat of Iggy Pop's Lust for Life. Ewan McGregor runs down the street with an energetic stride that only the godfather of punk could score. Along with Danny Boyle's direction and the slick editing, Renton and his friend group get introduced in a flashy opening that comes together by strength of the music. <laughs> Pop's efforts provide the heartbeat to the story, while also foreshadowing the darkness that's yet to come for the characters. The track originally came out on the 70s album of the same name, but its use in this movie gave it another life. On an already stellar soundtrack for 90s cinema, this song gives the film a massive boost for its first sequence. Go ahead, on. Number 6. Shout, Otis Day and the Nights, Animal House. The Isley Brothers originally recorded this hit in 1959, slowly building over the years as a popular call and response song for concert audiences. Once it was included in the comedy Animal House, the track had a second wave of popularity. So you make me wanna... yeah, yeah. The scene had the fictional band Otis Day and the Nights covering it for a toga party that ramps up with this musical cue. John Belushi and the other cast members inspired more people to use the single for parties and other sporting events ever since. As a memorable part of this influential 70s comedy, Shout still excites audiences today from all walks of life. Number 5. Where Is My Mind? Pixies, Fight Club. Bringing this trippy satire to a close, Where Is My Mind wraps up Fight Club like few other tracks could. Very strange time. The narrator and Tyler Durden's world come crashing down on a mind-bending conclusion that needed an extra ounce of heft. Seeing buildings fall in a surreal and explosive ending, the single creates another reason to remember the iconic twist. The song's place in the indie music scene might have been established among music fans, but the mainstream came to appreciate it and the Pixies even more after this film's release. A couple of years after the movie's release, the group reunited with a renewed interest in their work that could be partly traced to this dark comedy. Number 4. Born to be Wild, Steppenwolf, Easy Rider Born to be Wild already had rocking guitars and a cool sound, but it needed one more thing to become truly legendary. Becoming an unofficial anthem for Easy Rider, the song became associated with the free spirit of the open road. The images of bikers taking a trip across the country perfectly encapsulated the track's freewheeling attitude. Dennis Hopper and Peter Fonda rode choppers to a number of famous recordings, but this one stuck in the greater consciousness. Years after the hippie craze, Born to be Wild and its association with the countercultural film still resonates with multiple generations. Born to be wild. Number 3. The Sound of Silence, Simon and Garfunkel, The Graduate 
Underscoring Lee character Ben's journey of self-discovery, the sound of silence plays out like his inner monologue in The Graduate. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. His uncertainty in a post-academic world amplifies with the help of Paul Simon's words. As a recurring motif, the haunting lyrics bring up an emotional side of the character that appears to be mostly closed off to the world. And the vision that was planted in my brain. The song's association with this movie only added to its already acclaimed status as a folk masterpiece. Their other hit, Mrs. Robinson, also became popular through the film. But The Sound of Silence was already established years before and given further attention because of the 60s classic. Within the sound of silence. Number 2. As Time Goes By Dooley Wilson, Casablanca Throughout its use in Casablanca, as time goes by, quickly became one of the great American standards. You must remember this, a kiss is just a kiss. It's also among the most famous and well-regarded tracks from the golden era of Hollywood. Dooley Wilson performs the song for the movie, but it was originally written by Herman Hupfield in the 1930s. Ingrid Bergman and Humphrey Bogart's love story is personified by this piano ballad and its sentimental words. The fundamental things apply. Bergman famously asks the piano player Sam to play the nostalgic tune, prompting the angry Rick to reunite with his old flame. The mournful lyrics make for a wonderful thematic subtext to the central love story. Since you're going to bed. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Bohemian Rhapsody – Queen – Wayne's World From a Saturday Night Live sketch to a hit movie, Wayne's World was a sensation partly due to its frequent appreciation of rock artists like Queen. The opening scenes of this film feature one of the best tributes to the band's magnum opus. I see a little silhouette of a man. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the fandango? Singing along with each intricate part of the classic Bohemian Rhapsody, the cast performs the vocals like super fans living out their greatest fantasy. There's no shortage of fun during the car ride as the passengers headbang their way to the end. <laughs> The comedy brought the beauty of Bohemian Rhapsody to a new generation of fans. So you think you can love me and leave me to die? Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.